Crystal and I'm back with a new video. Hi guys! I'm finally back. Um, <clears throat> my uploading schedule is a wreck. <laughs> and um, but to the point of today's video is uh, decluttering my skincare and makeup items which I have not really uh, been holding back on because I have way too much stuff and I decided to film the rubbish that I have in my house. So yeah. Um, Remember to leave a like and subscribe to this channel. I do videos about skincare and, and makeup videos and I post at least a week. I'm trying. <laughs> so yeah, um, let's get on to this video. So let's go through all of the skincare stuff because that's the smaller bunch of items compared to the makeup because the makeup is way too much. Um, I'm just gonna keep it brief and everything. So yeah, the first item I have here is the Glow Globes Ghost Cleansing Water. I have two of these. I finished two. Um, I got these through Easy Buy, and I can't really find it on the Sky Zero Zero Seven website. So that's the only way I got them. Um, I remember paying about like fourteen dollars for both. So that's like seven dollars each. Really good. It really takes off all of your makeup, but um, I don't think I'm gonna repurchase it because it's kind of a, a quite a hassle to get your hands on it. So, yeah, I still really love this item. If I go to Korea and I got a chance to buy this, I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna stock it up. So yeah, the next product I have here is actually the Dear Claire Supple Preparation Facial Toner, both in the original one and the unscented one. Uh, both of these have not caused me to break out whatsoever, so they are relatively safe on my skin at least. Uh, I finished both of them, you can see, and just, yeah, <laughs> they're both done. Um, I have like another, I think, one, I think four more bottles of it, yeah, and I plan to go through it. Uh, I really, really like these. I go through the toners, like my toners especially, like really, really fast, so uh, I really like these toners. They have a nice body to it, um, but this current one that I'm using, which is the Laneige Cream Skin Refiner, which is another empty that I have over here. Um, this one is definitely much more moisturizing compared to these. Normally the normal skin, I will recommend this. Normal oily skin, I will recommend this one because they are not too like emollient and thick. Well, this one is definitely more on the thicker side. Um, this is, but the good thing about this is that it's moisturizing that you don't even need to apply a moisturizer. I feel like for this one, you definitely have to apply a moisturizer on top of this one. So I'm um, kind of give and take thing, so yeah. The next category will actually be serums. So this one is actually the Dear Class Midnight Youth Activating Drop over here. Um, I personally did not find any difference using this, but it did not break me out either. So um, yeah, I just found that it's another serum. It, it works, I guess. Um, works in a sense that it hydrates my face, but I did not find anything like special with it, I guess. Maybe when I'm like older, maybe I'll find something like different about it. But other than that, um, it's just another serum. I probably won't repurchase this, so yeah. Next one I have here is my True Love, which is the Centella Green Level Buffet Serum. This is the one that I have emptied out. Um, this one contains green Centella as yet, how do I pronounce this? Centella Asiatica Extract, 49%. And uh, I live and breathe for this serum because this serum actually really helps with my acne and whenever I have like spots or pimples in general, this will help me out. Because uh, I was explaining in my previous video, which I will put up in the card above, um, what happened was that I was in Bangkok and I had like this huge like breakout and it was like this huge ass pimple on my chin. Felt like I was squeezing toothpaste out of that pimple because there was so much pus. Oh, that was so gross. But then um, I used this, I brought this along and uh, I felt a stinging pain when I applied this. But to me, when I normally feel like the stinging pain, I would normally see the result like the next day because that tells me that, oh, it's like disinfecting the area <laughs> kind of thing. So uh, yeah, and then the next day, it was like more or less much better. All the pus was gotten out of that pimple oh gosh <laughs> it was gross and uh, yeah this really helped me and i will recommend this uh very very much so i think that is all for the skincare part now we're moving on to makeup which is the fun part i guess so let's get to it let's start out with base products the first product i have here is the catrice cosmetics light correcting serum primer in the shade candlelight 
this one over here I think this was like highly raved by Tati and I bought it upon like her recommendation um, but the truth to be told I don't really use primers in my day-to-day -day life because for me I apply like sunscreen and then I normally leave that sunscreen to like sit and dry while I do my brows and then I normally don't really have time for primer so uh, yeah and even when I did use this primer I actually felt like I looked too like tin man foil kind of thing and because you know this is a light correcting uh, serum primer make supposedly to make you look glowy I feel that I can achieve that look with my sunscreen because it's like glowy and dewy or my skincare or, or dewy or dewy um, foundation you know and I feel that's good enough so I personally don't really use this so I'll probably like sell it off or give it to a friend the next one I have here is this uh, foundation powder it's the Cute Press Ivory Stella Oil Control Foundation Powder. The packaging, really pretty, hella cute. Um, it's like this. Um, and there's also like a comp foundation thing to like put your sponge in. Um, but the reason I don't like this foundation is because that um, I think it's too drying for my dry normal to dry skin. It, it, if I think that this was given to like an oily like friend of mine i think they will actually like this so uh, yeah color wise it's it's okay it kind of oh god sorry <laughs> color wise it kind of matches me somewhat kind of yeah it kind of matches me it is a nice yellow tone which i can appreciate because i feel like some powders they are like kind of peachy or you know they have this like white cast which this doesn't have but yeah, it's just too drying for me, so I'm passing this on. Next powder I have here is the Perfect Cow Perfect Powder. <laughs> Beauty Cute Perfect Cover Matte Powder, which is like this. Over here. A really nice like yellow, not yellow, more on like an orangey, peachy co color of a powder. Uh, I felt that this is a dupe for the pony effect. Um, what you call it? Um, powder? Pony effect powder? I know they actually had a powder which was somewhat something similar to this so I know and this was bought in Bangkok so you know they dupe, try to dupe everything so yeah but um, I appreciate this thing it's just that I just don't use it I had too many powders that I don't really reach for this so I'll just give it away to someone who will just you know appreciate it uh, because I just have too many like loose powders like my Hourglass uh, translucent powder, my Maybelline Fit Me, which is a banger of a powder. So that one I really like and I just, yeah, I don't really use this one. So moving on. Next one I have over here is actually Cushion Foundations, which I actually don't really use nowadays. I want to get back into it, but I feel like these have kind of like expired already. So I just try not to use it. The first one I have here is the Original Tension Pack by Misha. Which is a oh my god Stella packaging look so beautiful, and uh, this is the um, original tension pack intense moisture. Oh. And I oh. the puff just fell out. <laughs> um, yeah, it looks like this. It's like a tension like net kind of thing. Um, I actually really really like this. Uh, cushion foundation from what I remember back in two years ago <laughs> uh, I really really liked it it's just that uh, I just stopped using it which is a shame I'm probably gonna get rid of the you know the, the refill inside and just get like a new one so the next foundation I have here is the Naked Face uh, Water King Cushion look you can see me filming yes it's the Water King Cover Cushion in number 23 okay don't get me wrong I freaking love this cushion foundation. Like, it's a banger. It looks so good. Coverage wise, it's so high, but the undertone is just not right for me. I tried, I tried number 22 before and it was way too light. I tried number 23, it just looks like a pink mess on me. Because you can tell I'm pretty yellow. Um, so this is like really, really peachy, like pink. Oh god. It looks, you do think like it looks alright, but then um, let me dip my finger in. Oh good god. 
Oh, it doesn't look that bad on camera. I hope that um, Naked Face will come out with like a shade extension, which I highly doubt it. But if they do, hell, I will get it. Like, you see, this is the swatch over here. This is it's pink. It's literally pink. And I'm definitely not pink. So, um, yeah. Uh, and I look like a clown when I wear this. I have another powder over here, which is the ColourPop No Filter Sheer Press Powder. Looks like this. Um, I know that Nisi Pisa really really likes this powder, but when I bought it, I was like, Ugh. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you? Yikes! Because look at it. Look at this. Look at this. It's like so dry. I have to like scrape the like this part over here because it kind of like hard pan in it. So I don't know why. I was really really excited because I was looking forward to getting a new powder to fall in love with, but. This was not it, sis. Nothing really comes off the brush when I like go in and you know just get the powder. This is the brush I normally use to uh, set underneath my eyes. Um, okay, so let's let's start. Let's start with here, and I'm just gonna go in. It's like nothing coming off. Oh, good God! Yeah, there's nothing coming off. Nothing on my brush, really nothing much. Yeah, nothing is coming off the brush. No, no, no particles, no nothing, nothing at all. Oh, I forgot like one product, uh, base product. This is actually the, the Sam Cover Perfection Tip Concealer in the shade number one. It's over here. Um, honestly speaking, um, back then I did not own like a card, so I could not make purchases like online or like buying off like Shopee or Q10. Uh, stuff like that so i was a noob and <laughs> i was a noob and i was a noob and i just like had i was in thailand i was in bangkok so i was like i saw the same like concealer i was like oh i gotta get it and then like it i know i wasn't like shade number one because i'm definitely never ever shade number one in like korean um base product shading kind of stuff like that i'm normally like number two or number three four if i'm lucky <laughs> and um yeah and then like they only had number one and then i was like oh my god i still gotta get it no matter what and it was like ten dollars thing which okay whatever but yeah and i even when i got back and the lighting there in the eve and boy store was terrible i was like oh this is not accurate and um yeah this is just like too light for me do you like oh good god yeah, I really, I really want to try this concealer again. It's just that in my proper shade because I will never ever put this shade on my face knowing me. So uh, yeah, and plus it's been like what? Three years? <laughs> oh god, another concealer. <laughs> this is the COSRX Clear Fit Spot Concealer. This is in the shade number 23. A banger. Another banger. Um, Problem is, is that I think that it's gonna expire soon. This is expires in 2019, this year, in December. It's September already, but I can start to feel that I think it's like starting to break me out, this particular concealer. Uh, but, but prior to that, it did not. Uh, oh my god, this concealer is such a, so good. It's like... It's like so much. Little bit goes such a long way. Like, okay, this is the concealer, right? And then like... Oh yeah, this is a great shade for like... Asian skin tones. Uh, borderline, it's a tad bit too orange, a little bit, but on my skin right now, it, it's okay. I can pull it off, uh, just uh, use it as a base concealer, then like, I put a lighter shade on top, it will work. Uh, but this is so good. I used to use this for like my breakouts, um, but um, once I remember that one day I put it on top of my breakout and it just like broke me out even more, so I was like, yeah, right, this isn't in this isn't it chief. So yeah. yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!